Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about what is business rule shape and how to configure business rule shape on Boomi. So now we can look what is business rule shape. So business rule shape is used to check multiple rules to determine if document could be accepted or rejected. So as per our previous video, if you have any condition, we can use decision shape, right? Either it be true or false. So in business rule shape, we can check multiple rules. So business rule shape works with the profile structure of a document. Successful document that meets the condition are sent down the accepted path and failed documents that does not meet the conditions are sent down the rejected path. Business rule shape executes for the number of repeating elements used as the inputs to the rule. So if one repeating element fails, the entire document will fail. So it's better to use data process shape before business rule shape to execute all documents individually. So here I'm providing one sample requirement. Okay, so you are getting employee details from source system right so from that employee details if the address is india and the phone number is not null at that time execute the process otherwise send customized error notifications to end customer so this is one sample requirement so based on this requirement we can implement business rule shape on boomi okay so this is our previous process right so here i am checking whether the address is equal to India or not okay so now we have two conditions so first condition is whether the address is equal to India or not and so if the address is India again we need to check one more condition whether the phone number is not equal to null or not so to check one more condition I am placing one more decision shape here for the first value i'm choosing profile element and then choosing flat file as a profile type selecting profile and now i'm selecting phone number as a element because we need to check whether the phone number is not equal to null or not okay so the comparison is not equal to and null so for null value we just give one space okay so Boomi will compare whether the phone number is not equal to null or not. Okay, I'm saving. So I'm connecting this true path to the decision shape. Okay, and again true path to the end and continue. So here for false path, I'm adding one more end and continue shape for time being. So the employee details are coming from source system and it will come to decision shape. So here it will check whether the address is equal to India or not. If the address is equal to India, it will go to the true path. And again, it will check the condition if the phone number is not equal to null or not. If the phone number is not equal to null, it will go to the true path. Otherwise, it will go to the false path. So now we have implemented our requirement, right? Okay, I'm saving the process and testing the process with the test atom. Execution got started. It went to false path in first decision shape itself. So we'll check the logs. So for address, we are getting UK. So UK is not equal to India. So that it went to the false path. So I'm changing country UK to India. And running the process again uh, see process execution got completed now I'm checking logs for first decision shape so the value is India and second value India so result will be true and again it is checking phone number whether it is not equal to null or not so first position phone number we are getting and second position null value it is comparing phone number is not equal to null right so that's why it is true it went to the true path so based on our requirement we have implemented so with the help of two decision shape also we can implement so instead of two decision shapes we can check multiple conditions on business rule shape as well so we can look how to configure business rule shape now 
okay i'm just dragging and dropping the business rule shape so this is the business rule shape pop up window here we need to configure so this is the definition to create multiple advanced validation rules that determine if incoming document should be accepted or rejected use the business rule shape so based on whether your documents were accepted or rejected you can perform business logic in your process all rules are evaluated against each document okay so this is the definition and after that we have display name so this is not a mandatory field so if you want to type any name you can type otherwise you can leave as it is so after that we have profile type so here we have to choose which profile it is so we are getting flat file right so i'm selecting flat file after that we need to select profile so i'm selecting demo one flat file okay i'm clicking on okay so here we need to create new rule so we have two conditions first one is address is india or not after that phone number is not equal to null or not okay so for that one we have to choose input fields so for inputs only we are checking conditions right so we need to select inputs here so from fields and we need to select both address and phone number okay so here we need to select whatever the inputs you are checking you need to select all inputs here and in this conditions box you need to check your conditions okay so based on your requirements you need to select operator whether it is a and or or so our requirement is and operator right so i'm selecting and and you need to add condition here so just clicking on add a condition so here i am selecting address and equal to india or not so india is static value right so that's why i selected static after that i am pasting india and save so this is one condition after that we have another condition for phone number as well right so i am selecting phone number and not equal to after that static value and then some space okay so Bumi will check both conditions and send documents to the accepted path or rejected path. The document reaches the both conditions, it will send documents to the accepted path. Otherwise, it will send documents to the rejected. Okay. Business rule shape has inbuilt error message functionality. So as per our requirement, if both conditions are not satisfied, we need to send some customized error notification to end customers, right? So we can construct our customized error message here in business rule shape itself. So I'm constructing error message like the document does not meet the not meets the condition conditions because we are getting address as suppose we are getting address as uk and phone number if you are getting phone number as null it will insert that null factor here okay so this is how we can construct error message here and clicking on ok so now i am just removing both decision shapes from process and i am just placing one business rule shape so if the document meets the condition documents pass it to the accepted path otherwise it will go to the rejected path okay so we'll see the final results how it will execute see execution got completed and all documents went to the accepted path because two conditions got satisfied see new business rule result was true so that's why it's went to the accepted path so i'm just changing country to uk and testing the process to see the result see the document went to the rejected path because the final result was false okay so this is how we can construct or configure business rule shape on boomi yeah that's it about today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section 
If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever I post the video. Thank you all. See you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.